Welcome back to the channel. So we are essentially done at this point with this Palladian window install. That's pretty sweet right there. On to the back band. Palladian window, baby. Almost done. All we need to do now is figure out how we're gonna handle these returns, and we are done. This is absolutely glorious. We have like two more tiny pieces that we're waiting to hear back on that have to deal with this entablature return right up here where it wraps into the jam because they're trying to resolve an issue with how the screen is going to come out. So we've got two solutions we're kind of thinking about right now, but I wanted to address an issue that has come up in this series several times over the past three videos that I've kind of documented this and shown you guys this if you've been following along. And that is why did we not use PVC trim? Well, there's several reasons we didn't actually. And I'm gonna just warn you right now, some of these you're probably not gonna agree with, but that's that's okay, we're adults, we cannot agree on the same things. Number one is, it's plastic. It's plastic, when I asked Brent about PVC, I was like, hey, do you use PVC on anything? He's like, we don't like to use PVC because I don't like the fact that craftsmanship is being done with plastic. Maybe it's not the most well-crafted thing that you yeah. can do, you know? The most long-lasting, the most, uh, you know, sustainable, the most, you know, the, the, the better for our environment. I mean, some of the plastics and things that we're making right now are, are bad. And I said, hey, that matches my ethos. That matches, like, my, what I believe in, so, that's awesome, you know? I like things that are actually made out of wood, that are organic, that are made from nature, that aren't just causing all these chemical byproducts and stuff like that. Like I said, you may not agree with this, but it's the same reason I believe that my wife likes real flowers. She honestly has told me, like, she just doesn't like fake flowers. And I think it's the same thing with this. You know, discerning clients and homeowners, they don't really want plastic on the outside of their house necessarily. I think the biggest concern is that Oh, it's gonna rot again. I mean, how many times did I hear that throughout this progress? It's gonna rot again, it's gonna rot. Oh, you're gonna have to rip that out. No, we're not. The original lasted 97 years. Like, did you not catch that part? The original lasted 97 years. And here's why it failed. It didn't fail because of the wood grade. It failed because of improper flashing. So this is our Sima molding right here. This one was on the left side here, or if you remember, we had a ton of damage there. I mean, look at my chisel just going into that. What the heck? That's crazy. Yeah, yeah, that's gotta come out. This was all flashed with metal flashing as it should be. Completely solid. For some reason, they did not flash this corner here. This completely rotted out, causing a failure in that whole entablature right there. So this right here, properly flashed, lasted a lifetime. It's, it, this is Sapili as well. And that's another thing. People don't realize that wood is actually really good exterior. Again, you're probably not gonna agree with that, but it's just honestly probably because you don't know. And I'm not trying to be prideful or puffed up or anything like that, but you just don't know. There's some things I don't know. I try to learn every day, but I'm telling you because I know that Sapili will last this long because I just witnessed it with my own eyes. If you properly flash, this stuff will last for a long time. People will build stuff out of some inferior wood and they'll be like, oh man, wood sucks outside. I don't want to use wood. It's like, no, you just don't know what you're doing. And that's the simple fact. And I'm not pretending to be an expert. I learned this stuff from Brent, but now that I know it, I can pass it along because it's good information. Let's talk a little bit more about PVC. It's plastic, that's a big reason. And we haven't seen it long enough to know it's its longevity exterior as a trim board. We just don't have the results in. One of the big problems with it though is that, you know, especially for this house, this face is south. We're here in Texas, it gets freaking hot. It's hot today, it's January. What, I don't know what's going on. This thing right here will get beat by the sun severely like all summer long. We know this lasted almost 100 years. Will PVC last 100 years? Well, we'll know in 100 years whenever these jobs start having failures or not. They may, they may last, I don't know. Another big reason for this stuff to be milled proportionally to how we want it, 
There is no PVC manufacturer who's gonna make every single one of these moldings that we need I, in stock. Okay, maybe they might make it if we send them stuff, but we're woodworkers. We mill stuff like <laughs> out of wood. So it's, it's just what we know. So I like you can't go through a catalog and find all these particular moldings. Like the ones I've seen are basically little colonials, big colonials, and maybe some other type of like supporting bed molding. And that's about it. I mean, I could be wrong on that, but I'm just telling you the information that I know. You're not gonna have access to all the like awesome millwork that we can actually make, that Hull can make for us. It's just not gonna happen. Or if it does, if they try to mill something, we try to route something with PVC. It's that cellular material, and it just doesn't have that same look as from when it was machined at the factory. And I haven't done a ton of with it, but what I have done with it, it's horrible as far as, far as the sawdust. So yeah, that, that's kind of my, my take at this point in my career on PVC and I would definitely use real wood over any day of the week and I guess the last thing I'll address is people were saying oh but you know the Sapeli is so expensive like how do you even uh, how do you even talk, get people to agree to that it's like hey you, this might be shocking to you but people have more money than you. They're not living in the same world as us, at least financially, right? I mean, we're all in the same world. Discerning customers, again, they don't want plastic on their house. They trust the builder that the builder is gonna do the right thing. And how we are going to do the right thing is rebuild this to the best of our ability with proper materials, proper glue, proper fasteners as we have just completed today. And the flashing is gonna to have to be addressed. That was the biggest failure on this thing is the flashing. Like I showed you on that piece, it, it just wasn't done properly and it caused all the woodwork to fail. The woodwork that was covered, like I showed you, was perfect. All of this Sapili wood right here has definitely proven itself to me. All of the stuff that was protected is in great shape. All the jams, inside jams that run into these two sides lights that is actually the original keystone up there all we did was sand it just freshen it up throw some primer on it and clean it up and that thing right there is completely flashed so the top of it is solid metal this right here is solid metal and even they molded this flashing around that that molding there so I don't know why they were able to do that, but not able to flash the little rooftops of our entablatures here. I, I don't know, I don't know, that doesn't add up to me because that's some pretty awesome flashing to wrap a molding like that. But yeah, that's the original Keystone. It's in great shape. We had it off, I inspected it. It's it's solid, it's like a, like a piece of Sapili you would buy off the shelf today. So there you go. I don't do a ton of these rant videos, but I just wanted to address that because I mean, Guys, PVC is not just, oh yeah, it's the total solution for everything. In my opinion, it's not. You may disagree, and I'm totally fine with that. But I definitely believe in the way that we just did it. There's my rant for the final video on this Palladian window. I hope you enjoyed this. I think this is a beautiful piece of architecture. I'm so happy that we got this opportunity to do this. And um, yeah, let me know what you think down in the comments. By all means, just freaking tell me why I'm wrong. You know, let's argue in the comments. I hope that answers the question at least about PVC and why we choose not to use it. Again, you know, thanks for listening to my sermon. God bless you and uh, amen.